Yo, 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 what's going on, my people? It's your boy, Double R, man. Shouts out to the real BRC. Salute to the GOAT, salute to GOAT gang, and any and everybody that appreciate this real, man. I ain't gonna waste no time, so check, right? Um, I was on Instagram, and one of my Instagram followers sent me a message um, and a link, and I clicked on the link, and what do you know? Sirius Jones is now taking shots at the GOAT. This shit is getting mad corny, people. But, in the same breath, it's a great thing. You know, because the more these niggas hate, the bigger Cassidy gonna get. And the bigger Cassidy get, the bigger everything Cassidy touches gonna get. Which means, the real BRC is gonna get bigger as well. You feel me? So, you know, I, I encourage them guys, man, to keep on hating. But, let's talk about Sirius Jones for a minute. I think he's garbage. You know, I always felt like he was garbage. I know a lot of people go and try to turn it into something other than what it is and say, oh, you just saying that because he going at Cassidy and yada, yada, yada. So, you know, for those of you that know me, know I've never been too high on Sirius Jones. Um, he just battled Mav Hoffa um, in a battle in which the GOAT attended. Um, and neither one of them had great performances. Uh, Sirius Jones did win that battle 3-0 But like I said Neither one of them had great performances And stuff like that um, This is the same man Who had that storytelling Slow ass slick Rick type of style You know uh, Versus Murder Mook back in the day When Murder Mook had the do-rag This is the same guy Who was in the studio with Cassidy um, And Jake And to me had the Worst freestyle out of out of them three, you feel me? Cassidy did what Cassidy do. His shit was garbage, and Jack does what he does. You feel me? But you know, for him to be talking the type of shit that he talking is is crazy. You feel me? But I know what it is. I know what it is, man. You know, Cassidy is coming in. He's the energy. He's shaking up the culture, and this furthermore proves that he is the energy. He is very bitter what he say he is, man. If he wasn't, these dudes wouldn't be feeling how they feeling. You know? He's washed up. He's a has-been. Well, why y'all can't get rid of him? Why y'all can't get rid of him? You feel me? If he all this and he all that, man. We already know what time it is, man. We already know what time it is. And the crazy part about it is, you know, that ain't, Cass ain't even get started. You know, he ain't even get started. This shit is just getting started. Like the real BRC, we ain't even got started. We this just the start. And these niggas already acting like broads. You feel me? They already acting like broads, man. I'm going to let y'all hear what, what Sirius Jones had to say, man. He's a clown, man. I might jump in a little bit and, and do a breakdown on this joint, too. So that shit, that shit, to me... Fuck Cassidy, straight up. That is a fucking bird. Goods killed you. You still over here in, in denial that you will convince the rest of the world that you won and you're the, like you're a fucking. Con I still haven't heard anybody that said that Goods won show us or come up with some type of logical reasoning as to how the fuck Goods won. And you could just add this suck ass nigga to the list. Let's continue. Me as weirdo. And there's plenty of other people out here who are weirdos too. And it's just that simple. We liked you when you had bars. We liked we liked you when you had those fucking, you know, the little DVD, the come up DVDs and all that. We liked your bars. Even my doghouse got a backyard. If I watch behind him, the lights will look like the cops behind them. like. You notice how he was able to say Cassidy lines and he did, he did a poor job of that, of that. You see what I'm saying? You notice how he was able to say Cassidy lines and shit? Now, I bet you we can't recite anything that he said. We can't recite anything that he said. And if you can, that shit is garbage. You feel me? Now, people out here are going to say, well, you bugging. Sirius Jones, nice. Sirius Jones is a legend. Sirius Jones, that's your fucking opinion. You feel me? Mines is, he's garbage. He's always been garbage, even before all of this shit. 
He always been garbage. Like I told you, I remember listening to the freestyle when he was in the studio with Cassidy and Jake, and me listening to Cassidy part, skipping past his and going straight to Jake. And I remember him looking at Jake like, damn, you know, with hate and envy in his eyes then. This nigga's a clown. He talking about weirdos like he's a fucking weirdo. He's a fucking bird ass nigga. You see what I'm saying? Him and Math Hoffa just laid a fucking egg. He beat Math Hoffa, but they both were garbage. And then he, now he got the nerve to talk to the goat. Talk to a man that ain't never lost. That ain't never lost. And about to come back October the 6th and body another nigga and make history. Let's continue, man. In raspy, gangster from the 50s cartoon voice that you be having this shit, like, that shit ain't cutting it no more, my nigga. You ain't winning one battle. Disaster, disaster basically threw the battle because he was killing you in the big room, and then the small room, you got it off. You know what this is, people? I just realized it. Um, The GOAT was talking about this, too. I think that was Hip Hop Is Real a few hours ago. This is this is an attempt to um it's that nigga shit, man. Y'all know I always say that, man. That's my it's that it's that nigga shit. And I'm saying it cuz it's true. These niggas spent all these years doing them and still haven't gotten anywhere. Now this is their time to try to fucking find a way to maneuver their way into a fucking battle with the goat. That's all this shit is about. That's all this shit get people talking and you know, but all this shit only makes the goat bigger. You know, it only makes the goat bigger, which is going to make the real BRC bigger. So, you know, let's continue, people. In terms of fucking this culture, nigga, there is not one person in battle rap right now that you would just body clearly. Not one, nigga. Shout out to my nigga, none, 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 kill you, nigga. None, none, none. It's not one person in this culture. That Cassidy wouldn't body clearly. He just bodied the nigga clearly. He just bodied goods. He came back after 15 years and bodied disaster. And then his first time on the URL stage and body goods. Why you continue to have performances like you had against Mav Hoffa? Fucking clown, people. These dudes are clowns. None, none but from North Carolina will body you. Y'all niggas is crazy. Like, y'all niggas is out here really acting like y'all can just trick people and just trick them into believing that you're the voice of the culture. None, 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 none will body Cassidy because he'll body you. And who the fuck is none, none? I know who he is, but who the fuck is he? Who the fuck is he? My point exactly, man. Let's continue. You don't speak for us, nigga. We don't fuck with you. We don't like you as an MC. If he didn't speak for y'all, then why the fuck are you talking about him? Why the fuck do you got Cassidy in your mouth? If you felt like Cassidy wasn't a threat, if you felt like Cassidy wasn't anything, then why the fuck you feel the need to have to, you know what I'm saying, validate the shit? Because you know he the fucking energy. You feel me? You know he is a fucking threat. And you trying to weasel your way into a fucking battle. This ain't nothing but a fucking, fucking what, backdoor promotion? It's a backdoor promotion. To try to get, try to get a battle locked in with the GOAT. Gotta wait your turn, champ. Gotta wait your turn, serious. We tolerated you because you're from the era of real... See, he said we tolerated you. The same shit that Good said. The same shit that Good said and the same fucking shit that Arsenal going to say when they battle. You mock my motherfucking words. You mock my words. Because what else can you say to a guy that ain't never that ain't never lost? Well, you ain't really got no game tape of him being vulnerable. No fucking vulnerability. Sad, man. Like, it's, it's sad, man. The hate is sad. How we just hate on each other, man. All this does is confirm the fucking stereotypes that we hate to see each other 
advance and do well. But then when motherfuckers hate on you, you the first motherfucker talking about how people hating and people don't want to see you shine, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Everybody can get destroyed, man. This nigga is garbage. The nigga that Cassidy is about to battle is garbage. Arsenal. The nigga that Cassidy battled before Arsenal is garbage. You feel me? I don't care. I know how you feel. They're like, Retro Rob, you bugging. You bugging. These niggas are garbage. And they proving it more and more every day. They garbage inside the fucking uh, ring and outside the fucking ring. Scenes. But you ain't no real scene, nigga. If you was, you wouldn't be just out here trolling, trying to find a way back in the battle rap. You know what you would do? You would just show up with the best niggas and get busy. That's what y'all want them to do. That's what y'all want them to fucking do. Y'all want them to, to pull a fucking Jay Mills and come in here and just be happy to be back. Why the fuck would he pull a Jay Mills when he the fucking culture? When he the reason why this shit is here to begin with? When he the reason why you fucking even exist? Come on now, I wouldn't do it neither. These dudes are clowns, people. They clowns. And they prove it every day. But you know what's going to happen is a great thing because you know what's going to happen. And the ghost said this in the Hip Hop Is Real interview. As this thing started to move forward, the fake ass niggas going to get exposed even more. And the real ones and the motherfuckers that tuck their motherfucking head down and work are going to rise and elevate. While these fake ass niggas and these perpetrators are going to get exposed. And you're going to start seeing them disappear. You know what? The reason why I'm laughing right now is because I know the goat is laughing right now, man. He probably see this video and start laughing. Cause all this shit does this fucking um self inflicted collateral damage right here, people. They doing all the work to themselves, man. Cassidy ain't gotta come up gonna be he was gonna say, We wanna see how Cassidy gonna respond. If Cassidy respond, that's fucking overkill, people. That's overkill. These guys are, are fucking themselves over. The fact that he even opening up his mouth, even at this fucking very time, at this very moment, where he just had a poor fucking performance versus Math Hoffa. <sighs> boy, I tell you, boy. These dudes, man, never cease to fucking amaze me, man. Let's continue, man. This shit is crazy. And helping me to fucking do everything alone a step of the way. I ain't never had an AR ab, some other goon nigga, putting in my work for me, nigga. Nobody. Everybody, everything I did was for me, nigga. So you come into this culture talking about, somebody need to get that nigga up here, yo. Somebody need to get that weirdo nigga up here, bro, for real, for real. So I'm gonna say this shit to this fucking clown ass nigga's face. At that nigga, yo. At that nigga in this shit. KPLO, they don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't know, nigga. We've been out here state to state, man. Played the plate for fucking 10, 15 years, my nigga. These niggas. Empire cut, shout out. It's funny how these motherfuckers always talking about they the legends and they this and they that. Why the fans ain't treating you like that, though? Why the fans ain't treating you like that? Why you don't pull the numbers like Cassidy pull? Why you don't sell out how Cassidy sell out? You got to realize, these niggas been doing this shit forever. They been doing this shit forever, people. I want y'all to understand that. If Cassidy is pulling the type of numbers he pulling and doing what he doing, these niggas should be in another fucking stratosphere somewhere. But they not. And they talking out they ass, thinking that they something that they not. And they never fucking been. 
So who's the fucking delusional one? Who's the delusional one? Who's the bird ass clown ass nigga, people? Sirius Jones. And all the rest of them niggas. Tay Rock and all the rest of them niggas. Sue Surf and all the rest of them. Shout out to the cut, man. Shout out to him for the cut. Lace me up, man. But nah, you know what I'm saying? This shit is this shit is just like, yo. You know it. This was funny. He said, I just joined in. Sounds like you're talking about cats. You know I'm talking about cats. <laughs> you know that's the only person I could be talking about like this. You know what I'm saying? I saw some shit this morning where the niggas basically saying it was whack for me and, 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 and Hoffa. I'm not even calling Hoffa no more. It was whack for us to shake hands. Really? It was whack for y'all to shake hands. That's the fucking problem, man. That's the problem. These niggas got to go, people. These niggas got to go. They fucking with the right ones, though, man. They fucking with the right ones. These niggas got to go. And they gonna go, man. I've been sick of this shit forever, man. I'm glad that they go back, man. I'm glad that the real BRC is around. Because these niggas got to go, man. I'm glad that the real Battle Rock community is in, is in effect, man. Because these niggas got to go, man. It's time to clean this shit up. You know? That's why after this battle with Arsenal, and Arsenal get his ass killed, and we put him in a casket, we need we might need to get this nigga next. And wash him on up, man. These niggas. These niggas, man. Niggas delusional. Niggas doing this. Niggas doing that. I'm the legend. And this, that. Why motherfuckers ain't treating you like that, serious? If you all this and you all that, trust me. Trust and believe me, man. Trust me. If Cassidy was exactly what he said Cassidy was and exactly what they say Cassidy is, Cassidy wouldn't be doing what he's doing now. Cassidy wouldn't be making history. Cassidy wouldn't be... And to make it so sad, though, Cassidy helping out the fucking culture that they claim to love, man. That they claim to love. Now we seeing what their true intentions are, people. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you see. Believe this shit. These dudes are showing their true colors. And it's a beautiful thing, though. It's a beautiful thing. It shows that we on our job, man. It shows that the goat is on his job. So I encourage Sirius Jones, man. I encourage Tay Rock and all the rest of these clowns. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Because all it's doing is, is giving us confirmation that Cassidy is every bit of what he say he is. That the real BRC is doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing. It was whack for us to, to piece up something that was a six-year-long a six year long, uh I don't even want to say trilogy or whatever, of violence, of, of, of negativity, of me, you know, thinking I thought I was going to have to kill that guy, bro. Dead ass. First of all, I listened to the interview yesterday. Cassidy didn't say nothing about what they did in the battle. He didn't say nothing about them being garbage and their material being garbage. He said what was whack was them fucking handshaking and shit like that. He said y'all could have did that shit after the fucking event when y'all left the building or before the fucking event. Y'all trying to sell a damn fight. That's like boxing. You ain't going to see Deontay Wilder shaking nobody's hand. He's trying to sell the fight. That's how you get the people to buy in to what you're trying to sell. But you can't sell nothing if people think that y'all friendly. People think that y'all cool. You know? People say, well, well, the battle, I know clowns will come on here. Well, the battle was already sold. You know, they were battling. I'm talking about future battles. Future fucking battles. That's all Cassidy said, man. That's all the ghost said. He said, man, y'all could have did that shit outside of the fucking event while y'all in the event you don't like that nigga that nigga don't like you and let's get it the fuck on and get the people a show 
You know what I'm saying? Blood sales, man. Beef sales. Hate, animosity, grudge, all that shit sales. Why you think we had Cassidy and Goods? Grudge sales. Why you think we about to have Cassidy and um and what's the name? One of six. Arsenal. Grudge sales. Beef sales. You feel me? Past history encounters sales. But it's not gonna sell if you want that in that motherfucker hugging and, and, and practically kissing and all that shit, shaking hands and all that shit, man. I already know the route he gonna go. Well, we can shake hands, do that shit after the fucking event when ain't nobody looking. Why you trying to sell something and you trying to provide for your family and get that fucking bag? We don't need to be seeing all that. We need to hear how you gonna destroy this nigga. How you gonna end this fucking career? How we ain't gonna never, like the ghost said, man. Look at good. I snatched this motherfucking soul out of his heart. I snatched his soul out of his chest. That's what we need to hear. What Deontay Wilder said to Brazil. I'm gonna snatch your brain out your head like a Mortal Kombat. We need to hear shit like that. We don't want to hear, oh, yeah, that's right. Good at event. Feel me? Y'all niggas practically kissing, man. Feel me? Why don't y'all, both of y'all got some milk dud motherfucking heads. Why don't y'all put y'all heads together and make an ass out yourself? Because that's practically what y'all are doing, man. Let's continue. And you want to tell me that it's whack for us to piece it up after having a battle, after getting a huge bag? Probably the same kind of bag that you got for fucking disaster? I got the that's the point, Sirius Jones. That's the fucking point, Sirius Jones. You're going to get an even bigger bag if you don't do all of that. Do all of that shit after the event. What can't nobody see. That's how you get bigger bags in the future. By not doing all that hugging and all that stuff. People don't want to see that. People want the fucking persona. They want the impersonation. They don't want two people showing love and affection towards each other. They want you to say, man, I'm going to kill this nigga. This nigga is dead. That's the problem. These niggas don't want to listen. And that's why they stay stuck in the position that they in. These niggas, like he said, I've been battling 15 years and you still ain't gone no fucking way. You still ain't gone no way. You still out here trying to call Cassidy out, trying to fake act like you calling them out. You calling them out because you need them, just like the rest of them do. And instead of these niggas getting it and taking notes, they still hating. And guess what? Five years later, the real BRC going to pass these niggas. We already know what Cassidy going. Cassidy going to do what he always been doing. That's elevating. Why these niggas stay stuck? Next thing you know, your boy Double R, YMF, Jersey, the real BRC, a light nomination. We going to elevate on these niggas. Because they hate us. I was just telling my homeboy today, man. You know, the reason why I'm going to continue to elevate and I, and I continuously get blessed is because I really care about other people, man. My heart is in the right place. These dudes' intentions and their heart ain't in the right place. That's why they stay stuck 15, 20 years later, two decades later. You feel me? Let's continue playing a little bit more of this shit, man, and I'm going to shut it down, man. I don't got time for dealing with YouTube. I got that same kind of bag, nigga. You want me to fuck my house up? You want me to fuck my house money up, huh? I'm supposed to walk off and keep it gangster. Like you would have did, like Cass. Uh, duh. Duh, Sirius Jones. You supposed to walk off and keep it gangster and do that shit outside of the fucking event. That's how you sell the fight. That's how you get a bigger bag in the future, you clown. Bozo.